you know, you were talking about people won't do the thing. Right now, there's a lot of excitement about semaglutide. Yeah. Okay, so this is a GLP-1 glucagon-like peptide. The, the story of that, is, since you like animals and, and the natural world, a guy down in South America was looking at Gila monsters, those really scary Whoa. things, and he realized they don't have to eat very often. I wonder if they're hungry all the time or not. Turns out, it takes their blood, isolates a peptide, which turns out to be GLP-1, puts it into other animals and realizes it suppresses appetite. Amazing, right? Like, uh, this is what I love about biology. Some mm. dude who studies Gila monsters. Turns out humans make GLP-1. GLP-1 is stimulated by things like yerba mate tea. Certain f other compounds, plant compounds, stimulate its release. But what does it do in the hypothalamus? It suppresses hunger by way of, uh, there's a particular brain uh, arcuate pathway, blah, blah, blah. But it also affects the mechanosensors of the gut so that you feel like your guts are full. Like you got, it's almost like you're getting like a pharmacologic uh, tummy, uh, stapled stomach, right? So when people take a drug that mimics GLP-1, their brain is like, well, I'm not as hungry and their stomach feels full even though it's empty. And so people lose weight.